Okay. <laughs> Time to go to the movies. Want to go to the movies? Yes. 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 We're going to check out a movie. I tell you what, I heard I was going to do these interviews for a movie called Kick Ass 2, and I never saw Kick Ass, the movie. And I want, you know, I thought, so I watched it before I went to go see the second one, the sequel. And I got to tell you what, I sort of fell in love with it. It's one of those independent movies that was put together by a bunch of guys with money, like Brad Pitt and those yeah. kind of characters. I saw it. I liked it a lot. No studio suits yeah. involved, so that, you know, the language is a little crazy, the idea is a little crazy. It's a real comic book movie. This is the sequel. Let's take a look. It's called Kick Ass 2. They may wear costumes, but it isn't Halloween. They're real life superheroes. Me and Hit Girl, we're training every day. And there were more and more people joining us every night. Colonel Stars and Stripes reporting for duty. We try to have fun. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, that's Jim Carrey behind that mask, and uh, there's a little controversy involved in the film. He said it might be too violent, so he sort of dropped his support from the whole thing, and I think he did it just to get a little attention and tell you the truth. It is a little wild. The language is, uh, it's... It's obscene. <laughs> in fact, one of the characters' names is obscene, but it is a story of uh, ordinary kids and people that want to be superheroes, and they actually uh, jump out there and try to be in these homemade costume kind of things. And of course, I talked to a lot of the characters in this, one being the villain. You know him as McLovin. His real name is Christopher Mintz Plus. Mark Miller had my character's name down before he even wrote the comic. Like, like right when I, I think I got the call right when I wrapped the first movie and it hadn't even been released yet. He's like, oh man, yeah, you'll be I'm like, all right, the movie's not out yet, Mark. <laughs> I know, and the evolution of the costuming. I mean, yeah, that, it's, I mean, that is outrageous. I know, it's crazy, man. It looks amazing on screen, but it was, uh, it was a pain in the ass to wear. I bet it was. Yeah, it was a nightmare. It's so demented and disgusting. <laughs> I'm wearing a, a woman's fetish gear. <laughs> It's so, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> a lot of fun to, a lot of, a lot of fun oh, man, to talk oh, to this man. guy. So what was this, the title, uh, the character's name? Uh, I can't, oh, I, you know what? You see how we put that block over yeah, it too? Yeah. That's because I don't want anyone to lip read it even. It, <laughs> wow. is, it is about as filthy a term as you can come up oh, with. Okay. And, you know, and in a comic book, they I must he swore. They must do it with tags and checks and stars right, and all that right, kind of right. stuff. So it is crazy. The, the guy who's sort of like the regular lead guy in this kind of thing, American accent, sort of a high voice kind of thing, is really an English character. You saw him in Anna Karenina. And he was also in a movie called Savage. Anna Karenina, he was the lead guy. So it's, he, he's one of these guys, like, you think he's a big-time actor. And then you see him in Savages, and he's like a California actor. But okay. he's from England. He's married to a woman. It's like, I think she's 10 or 15 years older than him. He has two kids. This is Aaron Johnson. Yeah, it's, it's uh, totally physically demanding in a sense. Uh, we. A lot, you know, doing a lot of fight sequences, but you know the reality of that is, uh, you know, you're doing take after take, and you're doing the same thing, and it gets uh, it's physic, you know, it's totally exhausting. Yeah. And uh, but uh, we did a lot of fighting styles, MMA, boxing, jiu-jitsu. Hey, you want to work for me, huh? You want to beat people up for me? Sure. All right. Let's get you a mask and a costume, and we will call you Black Death. Whoa, whoa, you don't think that's just a little bit incredibly racist? Some of the dialogue in this thing is just <laughs> knock, your, knock your head off on it. Yeah, Jeff Wadlow, who wrote the script, who also directed the movie, he uh, he really delivered a, a fantastic screenplay that we all, why we all jumped on board, really, because it was, um, it was, it was to the heart, emotional, and super funny, and, and dark, you know? So I did this interview with this guy. We did it at the uh, Mandarin Oriental over Columbus Circle in New York City. So everyone goes in to talk to this guy, like, you know, three or four buddies that do this too. They come out and go like, he didn't say anything to me, man. I got nothing I can use on TV. He's a real quiet, you know, he seems it. introspective you pull it out kind of, of character. Him. Yeah, and he, he acts like he's 20 years older than he is. So that's I understand how he has a wife older. And, you know, he's just, it's, you see him in these different roles. It's, he's just quite an actor because he makes that big jump. This next character, this next character, I like this little lady a lot. She was 11 years old when she first played this role. She's okay. 15 now. Her name is Chloe Grace Moretz. Check her out. Yeah, I mean, I think I think my biggest action hero would probably be Angelina. Yeah. You know, I think she's someone that everyone looks to, and in the action world especially, because she just kind of emits that hardcore... You know that Uma Thurman, Kill yeah. Bill. You That's know, what that, I was thinking too. It's that it's that you know that attitude, that thing they do. You know, and it, it's kind of 
interesting to be able to be one of those characters on screen because it's you kind of have to think about being cool subconsciously you know because you're like ah you say it and then you're like that sounded really cool yeah. that sounded bad well you got that thing they do you got it in spades thank you you're terrific thank you very much see ya really nice to see ya thank you it's fun to talk to her too because you know she started doing this when she was 11 you yeah. know and uh 11 years old you know playing a superhero that's like playing i don't know like like boys would do you know so, okay and, she seemed so demure when you were talking to her there like yeah like how all of but I, I, I saw the first movie, liked it a lot. I haven't seen this one yet, but I probably. What did you like about the first one? It was just, it was I was not expecting anything from it, and it turned out to be like a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's it was just a fun movie. Some crazy names in there, though. I mean, if you if you think about taking your kids to see it, be prepared for them to, be you know they might want to exercise some new language at home. <laughs> <laughs> might not, home and school possibly. You'll be getting the phone call from the teacher or the principal. It might not be acceptable, but it's a fun movie. I I really liked it for what it is. Okay, when you're way to the movies, you.